Let's head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Yeah, I'm calling on the Baker Mayfield thing that you guys were talking about. I understand you say he's 500, he's gone to three different teams. Well, I kind of realized last year, okay, he was 9-8, and eight, but their team showed up in a playoff game and almost won. Our team got crushed by a rookie quarterback, okay? So that, I guess, falls on our coach because you guys talk about a top roster, we got this, we got that. We're going to see when the season starts. With this schedule we got to play and everything, we're going to see how much the two-time coach of the year does this year. I hope we do good, because if we do, I'll call you guys up and say you guys were right. But if we don't, I hope I hear something on the thing that you said we were right. Take care, guys. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. Scott, you know I uh, when I'm wrong, I admit it. I have no problems admitting I'm wrong. Now, I, they, the Buccaneers beat the Eagles. Now, just as a refresher, Eagles started out 10-1. and one. They went 1-5 and five and almost missed the playoffs. So that was the playoff win that you're talking about. Um, to criticize Kevin Stefanski at this point, it's ludicrous. And here's the other thing. Baker Mayfield, his strength last year was throw the ball up to Mike Evans. And Mike Evans, in my mind, is forever the guy that won Johnny Manziel a Heisman Trophy. I can't, I used to watch him and go, yeah, the quarterback, the little quarterback's okay, but man, I want the big guy that can go and take the ball away and is a physical freak. So, again, I, and, and Scott, you know, I never, I, I did not criticize Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield's a 500 quarterback. He's a mediocre, average NFL quarterback. There's nothing wrong with that. I applaud the Browns for going out and trying to upgrade the quarterback position. Swing for the fences. They did. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you there, David. Plus, I think, hey, it's unfair to judge a coach on one game, right? Whatever that is. Uh, you know, is it Kevin Stefanski? Does he get the blame that they lost to the Texans last year? Sure. He's the head coach. Do I think it was Kevin Stefanski's fault? I do not. And I don't think you can accurately judge somebody based on a playoff game. Is Todd Bowles a better coach than Kevin Stefanski because he won a playoff game last year? I don't think so. Yeah, I, I, would, so, I would agree. A lot goes into it. Uh, you know, yeah, you know, they won that game. Good for him. But I, I think it goes beyond that. Yeah. And again, the, the, I have no problem with Baker Mayfield. But to sit here and tell me he's the answer, he's the reason we're not – Advancing to the AFC Championship game? No, that's not true. That's your revisionist. Don't I mean? Don't be so narrow-minded. I, I, and I, I defended Baker Mayfield when he was here. That's the thing. I said you can win with a guy like that. You're not going to win because of him, but you can win with a guy like that. So, right. I mean, Baker played better and longer than Deshaun Watson last year. Right. If you're going to just do the heads-up comparison, you can make an argument right now that Baker Mayfield. The Browns will be better off with Baker Mayfield heading into 2024. You can make that argument. But you are I, I think you're 100% right when you say Baker wasn't good enough when the Browns went after Deshaun Watson. I don't think Baker will ever be a top 10 or 12 quarterback in this league. And that's what you're looking for. And, and they thought they were getting in Watson, whether or not they did. You know, the jury's still out. But I don't think Baker's ever going to be that guy. That doesn't mean he's bad. Doesn't mean he can't win a playoff game. Doesn't mean he can't win a Super Bowl. But that was the thinking. Yeah, and again, don't judge the trade on the first three years. If, if you want to do that, that's fine. Browns have lost the first three years of the trade. They didn't do it with three years in mind. Just that would be what I would say. 